In this tutorial, we are going to take some footage that was shot outside at the beach in the wind and replace the audio with another track that was done in the studio. We will use Twixter to lip sync via time remapping the footage so it will match the new audio track. Please note that in this tutorial, we are talking about lip sync, but this method can be used to sync video to any alternate track, whether it be music or some other audio that you want to match specific video frames with cues in the audio track. Let's take a look at the original shot. This is Christopher Holly from the Christopher Holly Rollers. I shot him playing one of my favorite songs that he does called Dance All Day at the beach. Unfortunately, it was a windy day. You can hear the wind blowing over his singing. This is a problem that occurs regularly when you are doing a shoot outdoors, so let's see how Twixter can fix it. Now, let's go to our Premiere Pro project and listen to the new audio track we will use. You might notice that this is an electric guitar and there are also drums. This will just add to the character of our final. We're also going to do some speed ramping for an artistic effect. We will turn to Twixter and animate the frame number and the output control to sync the video to the new audio track. We can go back to traditional animation lip sync techniques to accomplish this task. Let's take a look at basic lip sync. This involves correctly timing the mouth open and mouth closed positions. Think of any of your old favorite cartoons. Take a quick look at the basic mouth shapes we will look for on Christopher. What I did was go through the original shot and mark down the first frame of the beginning of the first word sound and then mark the last frame of the last word sound. Then I go through the middle of the phrase and mark main keyframes phonetically like you would do when making an animated character speak. For this project we're going to switch the timeline to frames instead of time code because we're going to be matching frame numbers from the new audio to the original video and frame numbers will be easier to work with than time code. We can easily switch back and forth by right mouse clicking on the time code and selecting frames instead. We can now add Twixter to our sequence by going to Effects, Revision Plugins, and Twixter and then going to the effect controls. Let's put the display on source for now. This is because we want to find visual cues in the original footage before Twixter retimes it. Now we can change the time remap mode to frame number. Let's look at the source footage. We can play the original audio and video sequence. We watch and listen and add markers to the frames that correspond to the audio cues for when Christopher starts to speak a word and when he ends a word of a lyric. Now let's look at the new studio audio file. I listen to this and add markers to the corresponding frame numbers for the same start or end of word. Let's go to some of these keyframes. We will start by putting the playhead at zero and in the dialog box setting a keyframe of zero to map the first frame of the source to the first frame of the output. Now let's go to the first sound of the dialog. He starts by singing when the morning sun comes up. So I had marked the w sound on the source and the same on the audio. It's frame 228 of the new audio. Let's go to frame 228 of the video and enter frame 224 in the dialog box. So now Twixter will make frame 224 of the video sync to frame 228 of the audio track. Let's keep going down the list. Now we want the p sound of up and that's at frame 295 of the audio track. Let's go to frame 295 of the video and enter frame 280 in the dialog box to sync frame 280 of the video to 295 of the audio. Let's do a couple more before we check our result. The next bit is warm kisses on your face. So we have the w sound again at frame 400 of the audio track. We go to frame 400 of the video and enter uh, frame 375 in the dialog box to remap the video. And then the last word 
is face, so it's the s sound. The audio track keyframe is frame 480, and we will go to frame 480 and set frame 458 of the video to that. Let's go ahead and check out our results so far. We will put the display on Twixtured Output and render the video and audio. That looks the way I would expect, so I would continue doing this same pattern of going to the frame of the audio track that has the next audio cue and type in our corresponding video frame. Let's look ahead at the result. Not bad, I would say. We have shown how to lip sync audio and video using Twixter and Premiere Pro. Don't you let them